Tim Bradley says, Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight for Terrence Bud Crawford. Hmm. We're going to talk about that. We're definitely going to talk about that. But before we do, you already know what to do. Go ahead and drop them likes. Hit that subscribe button so you can subscribe to the channel and you won't miss a video. So, let's go. What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? And welcome back to Seals TV. As I said, Tim Bradley says Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight for Terrence Crawford. I repeat, Tim Bradley says Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight for Terrence Crawford. He, he is. He is. Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight for anybody. Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight for Earl Spence, for Terrence Crawford, for Ugas, Sean Porter, whoever. Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight for all of them. He goes on to say, Manny Pacquiao likes fighters that pull out. And we've seen Terrence Crawford do that. We've seen um, all fighters do that. We've seen a lot of fighters do that. He's also He also goes on to say that he's been in the ring with Manny Pacquiao three times. He's been in the ring with Terrence Crawford for over 100 rounds, which was sparring, of course. It, they never fought each other. And um, it's a dangerous fight for him. It is. I 100% agree with Tim Bradley. 100%. Now, a lot of y'all are going to say, well, Tim Bradley, he's a company man. He's supposed to say that. But Tim Bradley... Is real close to Terrence Crawford. I know people are gonna say, "Well, maybe he's saying that because he wants to hype up the fight and and maybe think Manny Pacquiao can't maybe make Manny Pacquiao think he can beat Terrence Crawford." I don't know. The man's been the man's been in the ring with Manny Pacquiao three times, and we've seen what happened all three times. So you can say what you want. I'm not gonna get into all that. At the end of the day, like I said, Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight for anybody. And he's a dangerous fight for Terrence Crawford. Manny Pacquiao is 42 years of age. He's an all-time great. He's a living legend. Some people have him as the greatest of all time. He's a dangerous fight. He is. But. We've also seen Ter we've also seen Manny Pacquiao in the ring with Keith Thurman, who many thought Keith Thurman was the number one welterweight in the division. Many people were really high on Keith Thurman. Though he was hurt or though he had those layoffs or whatever, many people were still high on Keith Thurman and had him as the number one welterweight in the division. And he looked it. He looked it. He looked he looked amazing in beating Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, and so on. But Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao beat Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman was a guy that was in his prime. Though hand injuries and all those injuries, he's still in his prime. And Manny Pacquiao beat him. Now, Keith Thurman is not Terrence Crawford. Keith Thurman was not Terrence Crawford even before the injuries. Keith Thurman was a hell of a fighter. But he's not Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is a different animal. Terrence Crawford is mean as hell. He wants to he seeks and destroys. He wants to destroy. He wants to embarrass you. And usually he does. So and when he gets in the ring, if he is to get that Manny Pacquiao fight, he's going to get in the ring. And he's going to seek and destroy and try to embarrass. And all t he's going to try and pull what Manny Pacquiao did to Oscar De La Hoya on Manny Pacquiao. He will go in there to destroy you and to break you down. That's why, though we said it is a tough and dangerous fight for Terrence Crawford, I feel like it is equally, if not more, which I'm reaching to the more dangerous fight 
for Manny Pacquiao. He's 42 years old. Though he came off the Keith Thurman fight and he looked spectacular, he took punishment. He took punishment and he's coming off of a two-year layoff. Two-year layoff. He's 42 years old. So if we do get this fight, I expect a great fight from both. I expect a tough fight from both guys. But we have to put in there that Manny Pacquiao is 42 years of age. He's been on a two-year layoff. So this fight is, is equally, if not more, dangerous for Manny Pacquiao than it is for Terrence Crawford. And if this is the next fight for Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao, then I hope this is the last fight for Manny Pacquiao because, like I say, he's 42 years old. He's done everything in his career. He's had an outstanding career. Hall of Famer. All-time great. Living legend. You know, he's a senator in the Philippines. He's doing it all. He's made enough money. Win, lose, or draw, this has to be your last fight. This has to. You lose, you lost to arguably the number one fighter in the world has, who's just in his prime, and he, he he's a monster. He is. He really is. If you win, you go out beating arguably the number one fighter in the world. You beating guys that are generations You know, difference. That's the crazy part to think. This man's 42 years old. Terrence Crawford's 33. So, like I said, it's equally as dangerous for Manny Pacquiao as it is for Terrence Crawford. And, man, I hope I hope this fight gets made. Just because, just because Terrence Crawford is so great doesn't mean he's going to go in there and wash... Manny Pacquiao. That doesn't mean that. That doesn't mean that. I think it's dangerous, but he's not going to go in there and watch Manny Pacquiao. Well, I don't think. My personal opinion, it's a good fight. It's a fight that Terrence Crawford has been wanting for years. He's been trying to get that fight for a long time. He's been get. He's been trying to get that fight for a long time. And if that fight is to finally get made, just think about the... Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence fight. If Terrence Crawford is to get that fight made and beat Manny Pacquiao, who everybody wants to beat. We've heard it from Earl Spence. We've heard it from Sean Porter. They all want Manny Pacquiao on their legacy. But if Terrence Crawford is to go in there and beat Manny Pacquiao and Earl Spence is to go on and fight Ugas and win another belt, that fight is even bigger. And that you know, if Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao fight, we'll kind of we'll kind of hush up on the Earl Spence Terrence Crawford right now. You know, we'll still want to see it if Terrence Crawford is to be successful and beat Manny Pacquiao. Then we'll it's even a it's a bigger fight if he is to go on and win, and Spence is going to win another belt and beat Ugas, who is tough. Which he's tough. That fight is even bigger. Than what it is now, that's the thing. And then the purse split, that's 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 the biggest thing right there. You know they want to do this the 60-40, the seventy thirty, whatever. But this guy just beat the living legend. He just beat a Hall of Famer, an all time great. So I don't know how that purse split is gonna go now. But I know the fight is even bigger than what it was with another belt and the other guy, Terrence Crawford putting a living legend on his record. So I hope that fight is next. I hope that it's next for Terrence Crawford's sake because he deserves a fight like that. Terrence Crawford is an amazing fighter to watch. He's mean. I don't see how you can dislike him. I know people knock him because of his his resume or whatever. But if these are the only guys you can get in the ring with and those are the only guys that want to fight you, what can you do? What can you do? You can move over from top rank to go to PBC. 
I guess if that's what people want to say, I, I don't know. But what can you do? The guys that they put in front of him, he has destroyed them. Do we want to see him in the ring with Sean Porters or the the Earl Spence, the Keith Thurmans or Danny Garcia's or whatever? Do we want to see that? Yes, we do. We all do. We all want to see. I want to see him get those names on his record. I'm not saying that he'll lose to those guys. I'm just saying I want to see him get be able to put those guys on his record. Now, to me, that might be a knock towards Bob Arum because Terrence Crawford, he wants those fights. He wants all those fights. So I don't know. You got to you gotta talk Bob Arum about that. You got to get him to agree with whatever. Whatever he needs to do to get those fighters in the ring with Terrence Crawford so he can put those guys on his resume. But forget all that. We're talking about Manny Pacquiao. Everybody wants to fight. Hopefully Terrence Crawford gets that fight. And I'm excited that this news broke because I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to Terrence Crawford getting a fight with Manny Pacquiao. And um, you should too. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Is this more of a dangerous fight for Terrence Crawford? Or is it more dangerous for Manny Pacquiao? Being that he is 42 years old, he's on the layoff for two years. That's what I think. It's more dangerous for Manny Pacquiao than it is Terrence Crawford. Manny Pacquiao's an all-time great living legend, like I said. Hall of Famer. But he's been out of the ring for two years. He's 42 years of age. Terrence Crawford is no pushover. Terrence Crawford is a beast. We all know that. Y'all let me know down in the comments. And um, until next time.